Hello guys, Nato Ace here. So, Anime Expo 2024 came and gone. However, there were a lot of information that I was interested in throughout the event. And I'm gonna give my thoughts about it throughout on some video. With that said, the first thing I'm gonna start with, of course, anime announcement that I was interested. But, you know, true this, there's a lot of anime that I wanna give my thoughts about it. But, let's just say there's a lot, so... I just showed some anime that really caught my eye and I want to give my thoughts about it. Starting with Bleach, A Thousand Year Door War, Part 3 is going to come this October. Of course, you can watch it on Hulu. I have to say, the story is very interesting about it. You meet like Squad Zero and apparently they're more powerful. And then of course, the rival to the Soul Reapers, you have to fight him. Of course, the guy, really powerful. but sort of interesting from been watching but again we just have to wait and see what the third part about it and then they showed a poster for dr stone season four which is supposed to be called the future arc which is they're going to build a rocket ship so if you watch season three you can understand what happened so now one of their goal is you have to go throughout the world get resource and try to go to the moon from what i understand again i have not read the manga all of this so it is what it is. I do read some for certain anime, but like for this one, I'm going to announce to some extent, no. So that's a disclaimer there. So I'm just letting you know. But I can't wait. No release date yet for Dr. Stone Season 4. And it will be the final season. I mean, it is what it is. And then finally, they've been mentioning before years and years. Fire Force Season 3. But then nothing, no info. They just said, oh yeah, it's confirmed. We're working on Season 3. Finally, at Anime Expo 2024, they're going to start producing Season 3. So apparently, it's going to be in two parts. The first part will be April 2025, and then the second part will be January 2026. I know it's long, but it's probably production. takes longer if you really want to make it high quality. It is what it is. And if you've been watching anime on stream, Netflix or whatever, you know how they do it differently than in television. And same thing, change is good. The days of watching it televised, a weekly thing, is probably in the past, but it is what it is. That's their schedule. It is what it is. So the next one, I'm not really interested. However, a friend of mine showed it to me. I did watch some of the episode, and it is sort of interesting. And the art design, hey, you know, the character anime, they look pretty for what it is. And that is A Pocketary Diary Season 2 in 2025. Yes, for people who don't know, it's about a female who is an expert apothecary, and for whatever reason, she's obsessed of trying to do some item elixir alchemist thing. I mean, if you play certain Final Fantasy game, you know there's a chemist or apothecary class, and basically you use item to enhance your stuff, whatever, mixed to item. So it's sort of like that. What the anime is set in ancient China. It is sort of a slice of life to some extent, but it is interesting if you give it time. Kind of recommend it, even for me, because I never heard of it, and then my friend showed it to me, and I'm like, oh, it is sort of interesting. And then, Shangri La Season 2, coming this October. If you don't know what that anime is, it's about a group of gamers playing crappy MMORPG. And of course, if you're wondering why the main character looks like a bird, it's just a mask, and somehow he's trying to fight a powerful beast got cursed so he can't wear armor that's what he looks what it is again it is a funny interesting mmorpg type esekai i mean it's more kind of like in a upbeat town happy environment than watching sort of art online because nobody dies versus the other uh, show but again it's more like i said upbeat so again if you have a chance if you're interested about sort of uh guy being overpowered playing crappy mmorpg games there you go so other news not really related to enemy expo and that is there's gonna be a reboot for rama one half so of course the same person who did inuyasha uh, there's been other ones but for me personally i like inuyasha and i know it's probably people not gonna like it i'm not really a fan of the rama one half series i know a lot of people do I got friends who obsessed talking about it. 
And for people who don't know, it's an 80s anime. Think of it as friends with fan service set in Japan. And there's a lot of martial art comedy action, but that's what it is. And again, they're doing a reboot for modern times. Again, I don't know why. But if they want to do it, hey, why not? There have been a lot of reboots. Remember, Shaman King, they talk about it in the past. That was a reboot, and the reboot was actually good, especially what they did with Netflix. JoJo Bizarre Adventure, one of the arc, they did the reboot, and it's much better. And speaking of reboot, another one is Magic Knight Ray Earth, a clamp series. We'll also have a reboot. Yeah, I did watch it. Interesting for what it is, girl power, but of course, that is what clamp's about. And of course, if you don't know, if you play Super World War T or 30, rare characters are in the game. Why? I don't know, but there you go. So those are some interesting ones. And closing with this, I really want to talk about is the reason for me that I do enjoy anime is one piece for me. One piece. So, of course, you've been following what's happening, either Crunchyroll or Netflix. They are doing the stuff for the Egghead arc. They are far away. So, of course, they finally mentioned that there will be a dub. Of course, no dub. So, the final batch of Wano should be coming in a couple of months. And they announced that for the Egghead arc dub, in the end of August, it will be from Microsoft Store. And then September will be on Crunchyroll. And my question is, will we also be on Netflix? Because if you don't know, for whatever reason, Netflix and One Piece are now like buddy buddies. I know. Such as they have some exclusive movie that's not on Crunchyroll. And then there's that one particular one-off anime that's now they reconnected with One Piece. Highly recommend it. We have Netflix. Exclusive on Netflix. And of course, the live action Netflix. And quick impression. I loved it. Season 2, they're working on it. Can't wait for it. So if people say, oh my gosh, it's going to be political. It's not. Relax. But there you go. So... Yeah, my thoughts about the Anime Expo, the anime announcement. I can't wait for a lot of this anime to come out. What's their story? And like I said, maybe I should read the manga. But of course, I got a lot of things I have to do. So sometimes I'm trying to fit it in. And if I'm trying to read manga for a lot of the series, it's probably going to take longer. It's going to take up my time. You know the drill. When you get old, you got things to do. It's slide. But a lot of the announcement. I love it. I enjoy it. It will be interesting what the story is when they finally get released in Crunchyroll. So that's my thoughts. The Crunchyroll announcement at Anime Expo 2024. With that, I'll see you guys later.